COVID-19 is far becoming the accelerator for one of the greatest workplace transformations. How we work, exercise, shop, learn, communicate and carry out other daily endeavors have been altered by the new normal. Consequently, for many across the world, COVID-19 pandemic and the attendant lockdown season have been a disruptive time as they navigate between the new way of life and working in uncharted territory. To put this in proper perspective, we have M.M. Uogugu. She is a work-life integration and productivity coach. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for having me this morning. Could you, could you just pronounce your surname, uh, please? Uogugu. Okay. Uogugu. So it was close. Uogugu. All right, for a lot of people, it's been quite challenging handling life and work ethics now that the world is contending with a global pandemic. What are your observations in this regard? My observation is that people um, who are not very used to staying organized, being organized, are struggling because um, for me, this has been a lifestyle, you know, being um, productive, having my day organized, and then adjusting to the new normal, you know, working from home, making sure that everything I want to achieve is already planned for ahead of the day and weekly. So for me, my observation is that people were not created to stay indoors, so they have to find ways to cope with this situation going on at the moment. Thank you. Um, how possible is it to create a balance between emergencies of life and work ethics as we have now? I think for, as human beings, we have to be very flexible and we have to be able to adapt to new changes that happen in our environment. And that's one of the very important skills that we all need to adapt to, we all need to acquire as human beings. Being flexible, being able to cope with whatever is going on and making the best of what is going on at the moment. So for me, it's... Looking at what is going on, how can I make the best use of this situation? What can I do now that I'm working for home? Which, and then being able to innovate, innovate and then create, to be creative, even with the situation, being able to come up with ideas that are sustainable and that are valuable and that also, that's also healthy for us as human beings. What are some of the practical ways to enhance productivity and work-related tasks, especially now? First of all, you have to onboard in daily. You have to onboard in daily. You have to tell yourself the truth. And then you have to set your goals, goals that are um, achievable. And then you also have to um, give yourself a pat at the back when you don't achieve some of them. You have to be flexible, realistic, set goals, and be organized. And then be driven. Be driven, be motivated. You have to be self-motivated. Those are ways you can cope and, and adapt to this particular period. What are the ch changes, rather, and challenges you foresee uh, in the workplace with this, uh, what we all now call new normal? Um, the challenges, I think, will be um, challenges with communication, um, having the best use of, um, having the right network in your organization, making sure that there's a huge, huge, huge investment when it comes to change management systems, training your organization, making sure that they are aware of the new changes, and also making sure that everyone understands their daily deliverables. So, and ways, and then they have to put the system in place that allows them to measure productivity versus the result that they're putting in. So, for organizations, they need to invest in hiring consultants like me, life coaches, to come to their work, to their, you know, to have online trainings, educating them, creating new change management systems, and creating methods on how they can manage productivity daily. So, there has to be either be um, a use of apps like Trello where they can manage in-house projects, they can communicate what's going on, what has been done, what is about to be done. So that way, everybody stays motivated and they are still bringing in good results in the company. Um, for individuals, what would you say are the greatest lessons and takeaways for daily endeavors at this period? I think for me, the greatest takeaway for individuals is life has its ups and downs. And we have to be flexible, like I said earlier. Flexibility allows you to really cope with situations that come to you as a human being. For as an individual, I think um, coming to terms with areas where we have been struggling before the lockdown, areas of eating healthy, areas of going out for going out for your workout. So if you don't have the discipline before now, the individuals are going to struggle. I mean, anyone, any human being is going to struggle with the lockdown because they never had any plan in place aside just going to work. So they didn't really have a life aside having a job. You understand, and then maybe going for parties over the weekend or one day and all of that. But now it's making us face the reality of raising our children intentionally, taking care of our bodies, giving ourselves breaks when we're working at home. You have to take breaks, and then also eating healthy, planning your menu, working out, and making sure that you stay healthy. You have a healthy sense of self worth, and then you are also being productive. So for me, individuals, it's time for us to bring out the drawing board and look at our life, and then see how we can make the best use of this period. Thank you.
All right, thank you very much, MM, for your time and your thoughts and the news. Thank you so much for having me this morning.